Hello my friends, welcome to another Lissa video. Today I want to share with you my personal tips on how I lost 70 pounds. The first thing that I want to say, tip number one, is to focus on health and not your weight loss. The weight loss is going to be a side effect of eating really healthy. So you don't have to worry about the weight loss. It'll come off eventually. If you're eating really, really healthy, your skin has a chance to keep up with your weight loss and you will eventually get there. You'll be happy when you do because you will have a good foundation for health. You won't be going on some diet and then having to go back. We'll talk about that later, but I want you to focus on your health. Focus on making sure you get everything and an abundant supply of vitamins and minerals from your fruits and vegetables first and foremost, and then everything else that you include in your diet. But I want you to make sure that you shift your focus away from needing to lose weight. Again, it'll eventually come off, but focusing on your health helps you to get there because you're not going to be constantly getting on the scale or worried if you're losing weight or worried if you're doing this wrong. You will get there. You will if you keep on it. And that brings me to number two, which is to be patient and consistent with yourself. This is a great tip because we are so impatient to lose weight, but it didn't take us two weeks, three weeks to gain 60 pounds. We gained it over a really long period of time for most of us and we want to get back there as soon as possible but we need to realize that because it took so long to get there it's gonna take long to get back and for some people it can take even longer because it's easier to gain weight than it is to lose weight number three is obvious but to exercise I do not support any calorie restricting diets. I don't believe that they are healthy for us and they aren't sustainable long term because we need the carbohydrates for energy. And if you cut the carbs out of your diet and you cut your calories way down to lose weight, you're going to eventually get really, really strong cravings because your body needs the energy. It's going to want to get food and it'll get food in any form possible. So you want to start exercising to put yourself in a calorie deficit. Instead of cutting your calories, increase your exercise so you can still get a really good amount of nutrition and you are still in calorie deficit. So adding a little bit more exercise is great. Lifting weights is awesome because it will tone those muscles that will show through when you do get to your goal. Dancing, hiking, swimming, yoga, stretches, whatever you want to do that makes you feel happy and that will actually get you to do exercise, do that. And just increase it every day if you want to. Do little things throughout the day like 100 squats here and there. You could do a couple uh, crunches on the couch. You can do arm raises or whatever while you're watching TV. Just try to fit a little bit here and there throughout the day if you can't do a full workout. Uh, any little bit is going to help you on your little journey. Plan, 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 plan. That is the next tip that I have for you. Make sure you plan. You should always wake up first thing in the morning and decide what you're going to have during the day. Deciding what you're going to have during the day really helps to focus your mind on your choices. If you don't plan what you're going to have, you know, you're gonna go with what life throws at you. If you're out and you don't have any idea what you want for lunch, you're just going to eat whatever. But if you decided first thing in the morning that you wanted to go out and get certain salad or need some ingredients for a salad or whatever, then you already know what you're going to have for lunch. So that sits in your mind throughout the day and you're less likely to cheat or fall off the wagon or what have you. Tip number five is to get hydrated. Hydration is key to weight loss. We all know this and we all know that we need to drink more water. However, drinking water isn't as effective as consuming your water. So if you eat a cucumber, you are absorbing two times more water than you would if you just drank a glass of water. So you want to include more fresh fruits and vegetables and that's why I do a raw vegan diet because I get pretty much all of my water from my fruits and vegetables. I'm never thirsty. Um, again, I lost all my weight and being hydrated is one of the main reasons why I believe that I have lost my cellulite and my weight. Number six is to increase your fiber. Fiber is so critical in the diet in general, but it does help with weight loss. It keeps you full and it pulls toxins and cholesterol out of your body. You want to get enough 
fiber in your diet to help with that. It's so important. And another reason why I do a raw vegan diet is because all of my foods pretty much have high amounts of fiber in them. I on average get about 80 to 90 grams of fiber a day and our ancestors um, used to get 104. So <laughs> if they ate a lot of fiber, then I should too. I think that that is more beneficial to us than focusing on the high protein, high fat thing because the carbohydrates are what is fueling us. So carbohydrates come with lots of fiber and we are fiber needing beings. So eat as many fruits and vegetables as you can. Number seven is to eat low fat. In nature, we didn't eat high fat. We didn't have oils and we didn't have bags of almonds. We survived on fruits and vegetables and we stayed lean and strong. We need to shift our focus from the high fat, high protein thing to the high fiber carbohydrate based foods. We don't need as much fat and protein as we have been led to believe. Again, if you need more information on this, please go and read a book called Proteinaholic by Dr. Garth Davis. You can also find more information about the high protein, high fat thing on nutritionfacts.org. Dr. Michael Greger has a lot of videos on the impact of the animal products in our diet and animal products, even if they're lean, they are still high fat. So including those in your diet can interfere with insulin and your insulin isn't working properly, you can gain weight from that. Next up, it's not about restriction. Again, we cannot be restricting our calories because when you restrict your calories, you restrict your nutrition. And the goal is to be healthy. When you're healthy, you will reach your natural weight, but we can't be restricting. The problem with restricting is that it's not sustainable. Once you get to a point where your body is depleted, you are going to actually start to want to eat tons of everything and you're going to get hard cravings. This doesn't work because it puts you in a yo-yo dieting phase, just not good. Plus calorie restricting puts you into ketosis. If you're doing a really low carb calorie restricting diet, it's basically starvation and ketosis is an unnatural state for the body. The body goes into ketosis for survival mechanism and we don't want to be in that state. We want to be thriving and abundant. You need to eat a lot more calories from fresh fruits and vegetables and that should help you stay full and satiated without cutting your calories because I've been on all of those calorie restricting diets and they are horrible. Yeah, you can lose weight on them and yeah, you feel good on them because you cut out all the junk food, but in reality, it's not sustainable. Eventually, you're going to have to start eating more calories and it just doesn't work. You're going to gain the weight back. But if you can find a ratio of carbs, fat, and protein that work at a high calorie amount, so say for me, it's about 2,400 calories. That's where I eat to maintain my weight. But I eat 80% carbs, 10% fat, and 10% protein, so it doesn't interfere with insulin. I find that that is perfect for me and I can eat a lot of food and get a lot of nutrition without having to restrict just so I could lose weight. Spices, spices are the next tip. Spices increase your metabolism so you can burn more at a sitting rate. I include a lot of spices in my diet. I know some people on the Eddie 1010 style don't agree with spices. However, I do include them in my diet. I find that I'm much more warm and I can maintain my weight with the spices. I don't know if they are, you know, critical in that, but they do help with your metabolism. So if you need a little bit of a boost, add some cayenne pepper to your salad dressing and it'll help warm you up and burn a little extra. Next tip is to chew slower. We wolf our food down and we just need to take a little bit more time to chew our food and get more nutrition out of our food. If you swallow stuff whole, the body can only digest a certain amount of it. So you wanna make sure that you chew your food and take your time. Chewing your food slowly also helps to satiate you more because you're getting a lot more of that nutrition and you can fit a little bit more of the low calorie foods in. So you've got a lot more, again, a lot more nutrition. And the final tip, it's not the last one, but it's pretty important. It's way up there is to make sure that you get enough good rest and keep your stress levels under control. You need to make sure that you are sleeping properly and earlier. The hours before midnight makes such a big difference in our lives. We are way too stressed out and we have too much cortisol running through our system, which will break down your muscle mass into sugar and that gets stored as fat. So you want to make sure that you can calm yourself down, do some meditations, 
And again, sleeping earlier, that's going to make a big difference. So sleep, very, very important, and to make sure that you're more relaxed. Also, when you're more relaxed and in a lower stress environment, you're going to make better food choices as well. It's not going to be all, you know, you're stressed out and all you want is a pizza. When you're calm, you can make better choices and this leads to better health. So coming up in this New Year's, I hope this video can help somebody out there who is going to be doing resolution or whatever. Um, if you're watching this and it isn't New Year's, I hope that this can help anybody out there who's looking for tips to lose weight. I lost 70 pounds and these tips were implemented into my life and they helped immensely. I've been able to keep my weight off for the last year and I'm very blessed to have found this lifestyle and living in abundance with lots of nutrition and youthfulness. I love it so much. I could never go back to the way I ate before. If you like this video, please click like and subscribe to my channel to get notifications for more. You can find me on Facebook at Lissa's Raw Food Romance, Instagram at Raw Food Romance, and over at Snapchat, Lissa Raw Vegan. Until the next video, guys, love you all and prune on.